Well, hello there. In this video, we are going to go over how to create your YouTube channel art in 2016, how to design it from scratch for free. It's easy to do, and it's using a website called canva.com, which I'm gonna introduce to you in just a second. But here is the channel art that I just created with Canva last night for my tech channel. That's the full image, and this is what it looks like on YouTube. So currently in 2016, this is what a YouTube channel page looks like. Um, who knows if they're going to change it soon? Hopefully not. Um, if so, I will be coming out with an updated video. But for now, this is how we're going to do it. This is my favorite and the best way, in my opinion, to, to create the YouTube channel art. So if you look into the description under this video, I will leave the links to two sites. First being the YouTube support page for the uh, channel art. And, and this is an important page to, to glance or look over and read over because it tells you how to actually go out and change your, your channel art once you have the, the design created. And it also shows you the image size guidelines, which is important. But also, the probably the most important is the channel art templates link right here. When you click that link, it'll download the channel art templates to your computer. And we're going to be using that template in just a minute. So make sure you click that link, download it. Uh, again, that link to this page will be in, in the description below this video. Also, in the below this video in the description is the link to canva.com. And this is a site that you can sign up for free. And once you sign up for that free account with your email address, uh, you will see the main page here at the top, create a design. And when you see this, you're gonna click the more, the plus sign over to the right. And it's gonna expand and give you a lot more options. And you wanna scroll down under social media and email headers and see YouTube channel art. Okay, so it's already got a template for YouTube channel art. That's why I love Canva. It makes it easy and it gives you these templates already for you to get your design up and running quickly. So once you find that, you can just go ahead and click on it and it'll open up a new tab. And this is the main editing layout for canva.com. And over here on the left, you'll see your options here at the, at the very left, you'll see these different options, the sections for how you can design your main editing screen. Uh, right here under layouts, the layout section, you'll see that it already has these pre-made templates for your YouTube channel art, just to give you some ideas. Or if you wanna click on any of these, you can see that it, has, it automatically puts it over here in the main editing window, and you can click on the text edit the text, edit the color of the text, move it around, make it bigger, edit the font, and then you can also click on the background, and if you, you obviously don't wanna use this uh, background that it offers you, because this is a paid background. They offer free and paid stuff, so when you see this, these lines, you know that it's a paid background. Well, you don't wanna use that. You probably wanna use your own free background, so uh, once you see that background, you can just go over here to the background section, click on that, and it'll give you the free options for their background. So if you just want a free plain design that they offer, when you click on that, obviously it goes behind that. So what you wanna do is click on this background that is still on here and click this trash icon. Whenever you click on an element inside the Canva editing window, you'll see this toolbar pop up with these options that you can choose. So you want to click the trash icon to get that background out of the way. And underneath that is the default background for Canva. This will, this will be on all the backgrounds. It's underneath everything just to be a default placeholder. And what you wanna do here is kind of resize it and then hit this trash icon once you see that. And bam, now you got the gray background that we selected. Now I can select the, the blue background, uh, the stripes, uh, and this is a pretty good uh, foundation to get you started off with your YouTube channel art. You know, you can type in your YouTube channel name here and bam, you got your pretty decent looking channel art. But Canva offers so many features that you can spice up your channel art a lot more than just that. Uh, they offer elements, uh, text, you can uh, add different types of pre-made text lay layouts here. I mean, it's just a ton of different things that they offer. And not only do they offer their own free elements, you can actually click on the upload section and upload your own background or any picture that you have on your computer, you can upload it into your Canva account and use that as a background. So say if I wanted to use this, I've already uploaded this picture on, on here. If I wanted to use that in my, as my background, I can click on that, it'll add it to my Canva. So if I wanted to make this my background, I just make it bigger, pull on the sides here, stretch it out, and then um, I can click on back on this toolbar here, and it's gonna send it back behind that text. And then all I have to do is make it bigger to where it fills my background. So there you go. That's just an example of how to use your own custom backgrounds, the images that you upload into Canva. Now I'm going to show you how I designed my channel art 
So I'm gonna go back to my Canva homepage. And the good thing about Canva is that it saves all your designs. So here is that one that I just designed. If I click on that, it'll bring it right back up to where I left off, which is really cool. Now this is the channel art that I made. And if I click on that, it's gonna bring up the uh, design that I was working on last night in my final, basically my final channel art image that I created. So how I did this was I have an, my own image right here in the background of me uh, against this brick wall and I uploaded it using the upload section and I just click on upload your own images and I browsed to it and found it and clicked open and it added it to my Canva account. And then I just clicked on it and made it my background and resized it. Uh, and then I went to the text box here and I added a uh, one of these text these pre-made templates for text on here which is what this tech videos every week is I believe I used this one right here the Copenhagen University one and then once I clicked on that it added it to my image I resized it like this of course I clicked on the text and edited the text there uh, and made it my own and edited the color and moved it around all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. And so there it is right there. When I click on it, you can see I can edit the text. I can edit the line color there. You get the idea. It's basically just adding text, resizing it, playing around with it, and customizing it to your liking. Now I did the same thing with my name over here. It's a pre-made design over here, and I added it and changed the colors, changed the fonts, and moved it around to where it centers right where I'm standing. So that's what I want you to do is just customize it, play around with Canva, all these different design elements, and make it how you want it, how you want your YouTube channel art to look like. Uh, and the last thing that you want to do is go back to your uploads section over here and click on upload images. And this time we're going to upload the channel art template that you just downloaded from that YouTube support page. It's going to be in the channel art templates folder and there it is right here the, the .png file you're going to open that up i've already added it to my canvas account so i'm not going to open it but you're going to add it it's going to upload to your canvas account and it's going to show up right here mine is right here and it's going to look just like this so when you click on that it's going to add this uh, template to your design element over here your whole main editing window youtube recommends that any of your text and logo and branding anything that you want to be seen needs to be in this safe area so we're going to make sure that my text and my my picture and my name are all in the text and logo safe area so what we're going to do is stretch it to where it almost fits the exact background but you want to make it just a little bit smaller you don't want to go fully because it'll snap as the background we don't want that we just want to use this as a guideline so once it's pretty big and almost covers the whole entire uh, editing space here. We're going to make this transparent so we can see if our text and logo are safe. So at the uh, top, you'll see the toolbar for this picture. You want to click this arrow and click on transparency and change this to about, you know, 60, 50, somewhere around there, somewhere where you can still see your image, where you can still see the, the text and logo safe area, but also you can see your background image. If I click off of that, you can see now, that when I stretch it out to the full page, I can see that my uh, text and my logo and image are pretty much all in this text and logo safe area. Um, my, my last name is kinda off the edge there. I'm not too worried about that. If all your main text is within this gray bar, the text and logo safe area, you should be good. That's the last thing that you want to verify. Um, but up until then, just keep in mind when you're designing this, that there is that text and logo safe area. So anything, it's got to be pretty much anything in the, the very middle. As you can see, if we go back to my YouTube channel, see this, see how it shows up on the YouTube channel page. When real in reality, it's this whole entire picture right here. And once you are finished designing your YouTube channel art on Canva, you can delete that uh, guideline image. And then you can go up here and hit this download button and choose image for web. And what that's gonna do is gonna download this image to your computer uh, and so you can upload it to YouTube and update your YouTube channel art. And if you go back to that YouTube channel support page, it'll tell you how to actually edit your channel art and upload your new YouTube channel art once you have it designed and saved to your computer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. All the links that we mentioned will be in the description below. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video.